Uganda Kampala vile vile sani kama hizo lakini DRC Kigali na Burundi ni saa moja kamili Haya ni makala ya Afrika Mashariki ambayo yanakuletea habari mbalimbali mbali katika masuala tofauti barani Afrika. Mimi ni Paul Nabiswa lakini kwanza mutasari. Wawekezaji wa Uchina waonesha nia ya kuwekeza nchini Kenya katika kongamano la kimataifa la biashara lililofanyika nchini Uchina wiki hii. Mwenyekiti wa chama cha ODM John Badi asisitiza kuwa kiongozi upinzani Raila Odinga hata kwa masiasa za kitaifa baada ya kuteuliwa katika umoja wa mataifa ya Afrika kusimamia miundo msingi. Rais wa Cameroon Paul Bia apishwa siku ya Jumanne baada ya kushinda uchaguzi wa taifa hilo kwa zaidi ya moja ya kura Bia ataendeleza uongozi wake wa zaidi ya miaka 36. Na katika maisha Afrika wiki hii tunaangazia taifa la Uganda ambapo kundi moja la kina mama limechukua jukumu la kubadilisha migomba ya ndizi kuwa mifuko ya kubebea mizigo kama hatua ya kuhifadhi mazingira. Na Afrika Mashariki hii leo inaanzia Uchina ambako kulikuwa na mkutano mkubwa kati ya washiriki wa kibiashara kutoka Kenya hali kadhalika na Wachina. Zaidi ya wafanyabiashara moja kutoka Kenya walienda China katika kongamano hilo. Mwana habari wetu Akisa Andera ambaye mara nyingi anasema lugha ya Kiingereza wakati huu anatuanzia makala ya Afrika Mashariki. Today China ranks as the number one trading partner with Kenya, accounting for 17.2% of Kenya's total trade with the world. Between the years 2007 to 2017, total trade between Kenya and China grew more than eightfold, from 471 million in 2007 to US dollars 4 billion in 2017. This trade however was heavily skewed in favor of China. It is important for us therefore to correct the existing trade imbalance to enable a fairer share of the benefits of trade. Na baada ya taarifa hiyo kutoka maeneo ya Uchina basi tunarudi nchini Kenya ambako Raila Odinga alipata kazi majuzi kuwa mjumbe mkuu wa umoja wa Afrika katika masuala ya muundo msingi. Wandani wake nchini Kenya wameanza kuzungumza kuhusiana na hatua atakayochukua baada ya hapo. Wengine wanasema atastafu kisiasa, wengine wanasema la. Hebu tumsikie Duncan Haemba akichambua swala hili kwa kina na tathmini. Gentlemen of the fourth stage. Hapo jana jioni msemaji wa Raila Odinga Dennis Onyango alituma ujumbe kwa vyombo vya habari wenye anwani uteuzi wa AU na siasa za urithi humo nchini hoja ya nne kwenye ujumbe huo ilisema nana nkuu ili kupeana uongozi unaohitajika katika wadhifa huu muhimu bwana odinga angependa kutangaza wazi kwamba hatajihusisha kamwe na siasa za urithi wa uongozi humo nchini Kenya za mwaka 2022 saa chache baadaye mwenyekiti wa ODM John Mbadi pamoja na kiranja wa NASA katika bunge la taifa Junet Mohamed wamejitokeza na kusema kwamba ni ndoto kudhani kuwa Raila Odinga kwa sasa atatuliza boli. Raila Odinga still leads the Orange Democratic Movement Party as the party leader and by the way he is our presidential candidate unless and until he he changes his mind otherwise and unless and until the national delegates convention uh, resolves otherwise but as it is he is the one who got our last ticket to run as the president of this country and he still has it we have not withdrawn it and uh, i would uh, say without any fear or favor that raila odinga is, uh, is is around for a while his main duty and calling is to his country 
which is Kenya. So there's no way he can leave this country and uh, abdicate his duties as our leader and go and work for, for other people outside the continent on permanent basis. Kwa wapinzani wao wa kisiasa wanaomshinikiza Odinga kustaafu siasa motomoto na badala yake kutumikia bara Afrika vigogo hawa ODM wanajibu bayana that celebration is premature they are in for a root shock uh, the role that Raila has been given cannot stop him from playing local politics swali ibuka ni je ikiwa Odinga ametangaza kusitisha siasa kwa sasa Mbona wandani wake watoe msimamo tofauti nae? Well, the only thing we are opposed to as a party is these early campaigns for presidency. Yeah, that is what we are opposed to. That is what Raila is opposed to. That's why he's saying he's going to concentrate on his job at the AU for now. But when the period for politicking comes, the period for asking for votes, for either him to become the president or to support somebody else, then that is the time you'll see him on the ground and, and campaigning for, for that person or for himself. Raila Odinga meteuliwa mwakilishi wa jumuiya umoja wa Afrika kusimamia maswale ya ujenzi wa mundo msingi na atakuwa na afisi yake kuu hapa jijini Nairobi, mbali na nyingine nne katika mataifa Ethiopia, Afrika Kusini, Nigeria na Misri. Duncan Hemba, KTN News. na mtuelekee nchini Tanzania katika bunge la Jumuiya Afrika Mashariki IALA ambapo kamati ya fedha ya bunge hilo ilitoa taarifa ambayo ilionyesha kwamba kuna ubadhirifu wa pesa za umma katika masuala mbalimbali na vitengo mbalimbali taasisi mbalimbali za Jumuiya Afrika Mashariki zimetuhumiwa kutumia pesa visivyo Rajab Hassan amekuwa katika eneo hilo na hii hapa taarifa yake those checklists Ripoti ya kamati ya fedha ya bunge la Jumuiya ya Afrika Mashariki kwa mwaka unaoishia Juni 30, 2017 yenye kurasa na moja inazidi kutikisa kuta za ukumbi wa bunge hili. Wabunge hapa wamechachama kuhusu kiukwaji wa kanuni za manunuzi na mikataba tata ilo tajwa ndani ya ripoti. Report Huyu ameliambia bunge atajivua wadhifa wake wa wawakilishi kama wanahusika katika badhirifu na utajwa watabakishwa huru Mr Speaker there's no way we are going to protect thieves in this house Mr Speaker and I'm ready Mr Speaker to resign from this house if this report is not going to be implemented Ikumbukwe ripoti hii leo inajadiliwa kwa mara nyingine ya tatu katika mjadala uliopita wajumbe wawili wa bunge walituambia kuwa badhirifu lotajwa hauvumiliki lakini inawezekana hali kawa mbaya zaidi ya leo kutokana na kwamba tunakosa uh, sheria ambayo inatu, inatu lin, inalinda jumuiya yetu inatu lin, inalinda fedha za jumuiya yetu maana yake sasa kuna kuwa na mwanya unaowawezesha watu wengine kufanya ubadhirifu kwa sababu hakuna kifungu ambacho kinawajibisha moja kwa moja in the going future the secretary should work so hard to give us a better way and use the better way of how the money has been used because looking at how the, the money has been used uh, so far is that it has there's a lot of mismanagement it has a lot of misappropriation and there's a lot of um, lack of integrity cha kushangaza ni kuwa hata kamati inashutumiwa kwa njama za kulinda ubadhirifu uliofanyika wakati wa kikao cha kamati ushahidi haukuwasilishwa mbele ya vyombo vya habari first of all hearing this committee without media in itself is in the breach of our rules or procedure and the house must pronounce itself on that if we do not then we do not even discuss this report because we cannot flout the rules of procedure and we continue saying we are acting for the people of East Africa hata hivyo ripoti haijaweka bayana hasara kutokana na mikataba tata na manunuzi batili pia nane amehusika katika ubadhirifu na yapi ni maamuzi ya msingi kukabiliana na hati hiyo chafu sababu zinazopelekea ripoti hii kupingwa we have got and at the same who because that one is an office except if the name is mentioned what are you going to do even me who wants to go to court who am i going to sue ripoti ya kamati ya fedha imerudishwa mikononi mwa kamati kwa marekebisho zaidi baada ya wajumbe kukataa ripoti wakitaka ripoti iwe wazi na iwataliwa husika wa ubadhirifu liwaangaziwa 
Hivyo hii itakuwa ni ripoti itakayojadiliwa kwa muda mrefu zaidi. Imekuwa ni vigumu sana kuliondoa neno ufisadi katika ripoti ya kamati ya fedha ya bunge la Jumuiya Afrika Mashariki. Na wajumbe wanataka wanaohusika wote kuwajibika. Lakini imetajwa namna bora itakayosaidia kutokomeza ubadhirifu ni kupitia muswada utakaowasilishwa na mjumbe huyu katika bunge hili mara tu utakapokamilika. This particular bill of mine unlike other bills passed by the house is not a bill that is intended to govern the, the public finance management of member states no this is for our own resources as a community our organs and institutions it's a substantive law that will now supersede the uh, the financial rules and regulations wiki mbili za vikao vya bunge hili zimekwisha bila jawabu la kitendawili cha nani yupo nyuma ya ubadhirifu uliyoshuhudiwa Rajabu Hassan Afrika Mashariki KT News Arusha Tanzania Mombasa ni mji wa pili kwa ukubwa nchini Kenya lakini kumekuwa na hali ya wasiwasi kutokana na visa vya uhalifu kuongezeka katika mtaa wa Soweto kulikuwa na kilio cha namna hiyo hiyo uh, hivi majuzi Francis Mtalaki anatuarifu kutoka Mombasa Huzuni imetanda katika boma hili baada ya meri wanje kukinudhia kumpoteza mumewe mpendwa Samson Kinudhia. Kufika hapa bwanangu amebebwa, amepigwa mashoka, amekanyangwa marugu, yuwa gharama, yuwa toa damu kama buzi. Ni mawaji ambayo sasa yamebadilisha maisha yake. Marehemu ndiye alikuwa bwana na mchumi, lakini mtani Soweto, familia kadhaa zimejasi manzi pia kwa kuwapoteza wapenda wao na watoto watatu wanahitaji sina kazi mimi si, mwanangu ndiye alikuwa tarajia maisha yangu yote maisha yamekuwa magumu sana kwa sababu mimi mwenyewe kazi yangu ni vibana nauza tu mnazi na bado ukija polisi bado watakufuata hapo hapo na waoni bado watakufuata hapo hapo Kamanda wa polisi Johnston Ipara amesema kuwa polisi wamelekeza macho yao katika mtaa huu kupitia doria na misako ila takwimu zinaonyesha kuwa watu wanne wamepoteza maisha yao huku wengine moja kujeruhiwa katika kipindi cha mwezi mmoja. Na wanje na kuna wale wa hapa ambao wanawatembeza wana wakiwaonyesha kwa sababu hawawezi kujua vichochoro kama ni watu wa mbali. Hao wengi wao ni wa hapa ambao wanashirikiana na watu wa nje. Imekuwa sasa waume ni kuuliwa, wanawake ni kupigwa. Hatuelewi ni nini kinaendelea. Boma hakuna hile in, ambayo inaweza sema kwamba inakosa kasoro. Hiyo kidogo mwalifu ni mwalifu na wakati anapanga mambo ya walifu, anapanga akiwa mbali kutoka kwenye maofisa wa usalama wako there are no security lights here yet we have leaders here we have mcas and all the, the manners but they are not doing enough hili limeendelea kuzoa wasiwasi kwani wahalifu na magenge yanadai kubadili njia ya uvamizi hatuna uhakika ni afisa wa polisi ama ni wahalifu maana wao wanakuja mfumo wa polisi yeyote atakayepatikana akibeba jina kwamba yeye ni polisi na hali si polisi atachukuliwa hatu wakali sana hivi watu tujui walindwa na nyali ni bamburi ni dog section ama ni kiembeni hatujui kulingana na wakazi hawawezi kutambua polisi ni nani na mhalifu ni nani tatizo ambalo kwa sasa limeweza kuzua wasiwasi katika eneo hili la Soweto Francis Mtalaki KT News Mombasa Tuelekee nchini Somalia ambako nchi hiyo imekuwa na msukosuko wa siku nyingi lakini kuna huduma ya ambulenzi ambayo inajulikana kama amani katika eneo hilo ambayo sasa huenda ikakosa kuendelea kuwahudumia wananchi wa sehemu hiyo kutokana na uhaba wa fedha kwa maelezo zaidi yuo hapa Abdi Omar Shirika hili kwa jina Amin Ambulance linalohudumu kuwabebea wagonjwa nchini Somalia limetishia kusitisha huduma zake kutokana na upungufu wa fedha. Hali inayowatia hofu wakazi wengi kwani ndio shirika la pekee linalowasaidia wakati wa mikasa. Dr. Abdul Kadir Adan ni miongoni mwa waanzilishi wa huduma hii. Adan amethibitisha kauli hii ya kuwa huenda wakasitisha huduma nchini Somalia baada ya kufilisika. It's true. Our free ambulance service is likely to stop because of financial constraints. People rely on this service directly and indirectly. 
When there is an attack, we go there to save the wounded. Mwezi Oktoba 18, mwaka 2017, ni kumbukumbu ambayo itasalia kwa wananchi wa Somalia. Ni mkasa wa bomu ambapo zaidi ya watu 500 walifariki huku mamia ya wengine wakisalia na majeraha hatari. Usaidizi pekee uliokuwepo wakati huo ni kutoka kwa shirika la gari la kubebea wagonjwa la Amin Ambulance ambalo sasa linatishia kuondoka. Shughuli zake zinaonekana kutatizika huku wananchi wakizidi kujawa na hofu. Kwa mujibu wa manusura wa shambulizi la kigaidi, Faisal Mohamed anasema wengi watapoteza maisha yao iwapo Amin itasitisha huduma zake. Amin closes, many Somalis will die. Amin Ambulance does so much more to save lives. And it's a service available everywhere in the city, no matter where the incident takes place. Daktari Abdul Kadir alianzisha huduma hii miaka kumi iliyopita ili kusaidia kusafirisha wagonjwa katika mji wa Mogadishu. Amewekeza zaidi ya dola 1000 ili kuyabadili baadhi ya mabasi madogo na kuyafanya magari ya kuwabebea wagonjwa. Increased significantly and so the cost of risen too. We do not generate any income with this service. The situation cannot last. The survival of this service depends on the help of the people, the government and donors. Kwa sasa Abdul Kadir Adan amesalia na magari 10 na 6 na wahudumu 30 na 6. Ila ukosefu wa fedha unamtia hofu kwamba huduma hii itazoroteka. Omar Abdi KTN News Afrika Mashariki. Jeshi la Muungano wa Afrika na Lodumu Somalia maarufu kama AMISOM limeandaa stakabadhi maalum ambayo itatumika katika shughuli ya kuhamisha usimamizi wa nchi ya Somalia kwa hali, kwa vyombo vya usalama kutoka katika jeshi la AMISOM hadi vyombo vya usalama vya Somali lakini itachukua muda mrefu eh, kuweza kufikia hilo Mark na Maswa anatuarifu kuhusu nchi hiyo ambayo imekuwa kwa mapigano kwa siku nyingi Uh, tangu ipinduliwe mwaka wa 1991 na Mohamed Farai Did kutoka kwa Side Bare. Ujumbe wa muungano wa Afrika nchini Somalia umo mbioni kupiga msasa mikakati ya kuondoa majeshi yake na kukabidhi majukumu ya kiusalama kwa vyombo vya usalama vya serikali ya Somalia. Kwenye kongamano la siku tano jijini Nairobi lenye lengo la kuandaa mikakati ya hatma ya taifa la Somalia kujitawala wadau walikiri kuwa kurejesha hali ya usalama na sheria nchini humo haijakuwa kazi rahisi kwenye taifa hilo la upembe wa Afrika. Want to produce a document that is workable, a document that is in a position and capable of producing the expected results and we are very much optimistic that we will do it. Baadhi ya mbinu za kuiweka Somalia kwenye nafasi ya kurejeshwa kwa hali ya kawaida ya usalama imekuwa kukabiliana na shughuli za wanamgambo wa Al-Shabab na kupasha makali vikosi vitakavyojukumika na usalama baada ya majeshi ya Amisom kuondoka. We have made progress despite all challenges and a lot of progress and we are very proud of that progress. But we've been doing these things in full cognizance that we are in Somalia a Somalia that belongs to the Somalis not to any one of us Maeneo kadhaa ya Somalia yameanza kujizoazoa kutoka kipindi cha takriban miongo mitatu ya machafuko lakini tarehe mahsusi ya kuondoka kwa vikosi vya kigeni haijakuwa bayana It's not just a matter of uh, uh, shooting al shabab but it's also a matter of uh, extending our hands to those elements of al shabab who for whatever reason had been has slided into violence and extremism and now are ready to abandon that path ingawa tathmini za kwanza ziliarifu huenda shughuli hiyo ikaanza mwaka 2018 hadi 2021 kulingana na jinsi mikakati ya kuvunja al shabab itakavyofana mark na maswa afrika mashariki KTN News Nam na kutoka kwa Mark na Maswa na taarifa hiyo ya Somalia na vikosi vya Amisom 
tunachukua mapumziko mafupi katika kipindi Afrika Mashariki lakini tutarejea kwa muda usiokuwa mrefu na maisha Afrika na miongoni mwa taarifa nyingine hali kadhalika michezo mimi ni Paul Nabiswa This is KTN News